All right, hey VC, how you doing? I'm Jamie, welcome back. It has been a while since my last video, but uh, back with you once again. Hope that everything's going well with you. Uh, we do have a, an unboxing, kind of a mini unboxing on this one. Uh, heard from uh, Eddie Hanna on uh, one of my uh, Rolling Stones uh, uh, videos. It was for the uh, unboxing of the uh, Baker's Banquet uh, Deluxe set. And uh, Eddie Hanna liked the video, and Eddie was wondering if I could uh, show more of my Rolling Stones CD uh, collection. I do have a lot of Rolling Stones on CD, so I'll just show you some of the interesting stuff but uh, the reason it's interesting that I just heard from Eddie because just arrived uh, is uh, the Rolling Stones uh, deluxe edition of Honk this is the uh, three CD set I didn't opt for the uh, the vinyl package and I understand for record day a record store day they did have something from Honk it was some sort of single or something I'm not sure which song they released but this is the uh, three CD deluxe deluxe edition featuring the live uh, bonus disc the very best of the Rolling Stones includes Start Me Up Wild Horses Brown Sugar Angie Miss You and Beast of Burden so it says the hype sticker and this definitely uh, doesn't look at their early stuff um, this is more the uh, you know the 70s stuff so here if we can get this in you can check out the uh, track listing there CD one, and then, oops, sorry, and there's the live disc, and then that's CD two, and then there's the live disc with uh, special guest stars, like I believe Brad Paisley's on here, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, Brad Paisley, Ed Sheeran, and uh, Florence Welch. Okay, without further ado, let's uh, take a look inside and see what we have inside. Hopefully I'll be able to save that hype sticker. But yeah, this is also available as a, a vinyl set as well, or a, I think a two CD or one CD set as well. I think it's a three vinyl record set. Okay, so there we have that. And it simply opens up like that. Some nice picks. But yeah, it doesn't really contain any of their uh, 60s stuff, mainly the 70s and onward. More of the Rolling Stones record stuff. And simply has like that. And a big kind of fold out thing like that. And we'll put that back in, see if there's any sort of booklet or anything like that inside. Yes, there is. And not, not doesn't feel too thick. And I'm expecting, yeah, just a lot of picks. Yeah, certainly for the Rolling Stones, they don't tend to have very much, <laughs> not a lot of text or history. They tend to just go for a bunch of pictures. And we're looking at just the uh, publishing uh, information for all the songs. Looking forward to listening to the live disc, though. And again, it's one of those things, you know, own pretty much all of this stuff already on, be it CD or some on vinyl, but you know, keep picking it up. Honk. All right, so there you go. So, uh, yeah, recently out. It's not uh, brand new, but, uh, yeah, recently out Honk. And that's the uh, 3D set. Okay, uh, just some other stuff of interest. Uh, Eddie Hanna had talked about uh, picking up uh, uh, Rolling Stones 40 Lex. Uh, this came out in uh, 2002. And still for my money, for a two-disc set, this is really, really good because they really do cover uh, pretty much all of the Rolling Stones uh, output. So there you have uh, the listing there. This really gives you a nice, nice overview. And this was on a slipcase like this, and then with a nice booklet, and then simply housed in the... And this is one of those, <coughs> you can't remember which way, do you pull it here? Yes, you do pull it here. Like the guesswork, you know, you don't know if you pull it there, pull it there, to get at it. But uh, so yeah, 40 licks, uh, if it's still available, I think it still is. I think you can still pick it up. Still a great one uh, for your money, good bang for your buck. Uh, picked these one up a while ago. These are the singles of box sets that came out that these are a lot of fun. So these are all like sort of reproductions of the singles. So this is 63 to 65, a little CD box set. These are not vinyl. These are all CDs that I'm showing you. So for example, they just come in the little shell case. Uh, nice little booklet uh, inside uh, with lots of goodies. And then uh, inside they also include, uh, yeah, some nice nice pictures as well and then they have just kind of like replicas these are all cd but uh really cute cute replicas of all this you know and if there's picture discs like or sorry picture sleeves that's a uh, like that and they all just come out the side like that 
you know, with her hand is on my side, that sort of thing. So really, yeah, really kind of kind of cool. Okay, so that's the first one. There was three in this set, so that was the Rolling Stones 63 to 65 singles. As I mentioned there, track listing. Uh, next one is, of course, a 65 to 67. And then the track listing there. Yeah, very cool. And then this one opens up again. Very much the same way, same style. Uh, with some nice photos. And then this one, uh, they gave you a little poster uh, inside for this one, which was quite nice. Now we got that. And then that. Okay, and then again, uh, continuing along the same fashion with the idea of the single, that sort of thing. And they don't open up at the top, they open up at the side. And then, very cool, they have, uh, most of them have just the black back, which is kind of, you don't often see that, which is kind of cool. All right, put all the goodies back in. An example of that. And then the last one in the series for the early Rolling Stones stuff is the Rolling Stones 1968 to 1971. And this one has a bonus DVD uh, with Time is on My Side, Have You Seen Your Mother Baby Standing in the Shadows, Jumpin' Jack Flash, and a Sympathy for the Devil Neptune's Remix video. So it's uh, some audio stuff and some video stuff as well. And again, same format, sort of a clamshell thing. Opens up like this. And then we pop up like that. And this one has a poster as well. I'll have to look again. I don't recall there being a poster in the first one. Um, but there is one in the second one, unless it was missing. <laughs> maybe there was supposed to be a poster, but maybe it's missing. So there we got that. And then that, I don't know if you can see that. And there you go, it's kind of nice. And then it also includes just a few uh, photos as well. And then the same sort of idea of any sort of picture discs, or picture sleeves, I should say, uh, with the discs inside like that. And again, also the black background like that as well. So very nice. Yeah, I just thought that those were a nice nice presentation of some of the classic early Rolling Stones stuff. But I'll take a quick look to see if there was a poster in the first one. I don't think there was, but I could be wrong. No, I don't recall there being one, unless it was supposed to be there and <laughs> didn't get included. Who knows? My luck. <laughs> Okay, and uh, yeah, I did pick up, uh, I don't know if I've shown this before, the Rolling Stones uh, in mono on CD that opens up, whoops, opens up like that, and of course uh, this was attached to it, and then I just kept that, and then just popped it inside, and then it opens up like that with the CDs all housed inside, all nice replicas of the CD, also including a very nice booklet as well. So there's that, and that, yeah, it gives you an indication of everything that's included. And it sounds great. They did a wonderful job with the, I think, with the mono mastering on that. And then uh, continuing to collect, I think I've pulled them all. I don't think I've missed any in the series, but I've been certainly collecting the From the Vaults uh, series on disc. So there we've got, in no particular order, uh, we've got uh, LA Forum Live in 1975. Uh, this was the last one, I believe, in the series, Rolling Stones Voodoo Lounge Uncut. And then we've got Rolling Stones uh, from the Vault, uh, the Marquee Club Live, 1971. And then we've got uh, Round Hay Park Live in Leeds, 1982. And usually these are either one CD, two CD, usually with a DVD or Blu-ray uh, companion, that sort of thing. Also, we've got uh, some Rolling Stones from the Vault, Sticky Fingers Live at the... the uh, at the uh, uh, Fond Fonda Theater, the Fonda Theater, <laughs> 2015. And then we've got to Hampton Coliseum live in 1981. And then No Security, San Jose, 1999. And then we've got uh, the Rolling Stones live at the Tokyo Dome, 1990. So again, just a few of the ones. I don't know if I'm missing anyone that I haven't presented, but I think I have picked them all up. And there's another one coming out live at Brennan, I think, uh, is the next one. And uh, I also do own the Rolling Stones uh, Rock and Roll Circus uh, when they had released this on DVD. This is a nice little package, and they are re-releasing this as a nice little box set. So you're going to get two, D uh, two uh, CDs in the new one, also a DVD and a Blu-ray uh, of, uh, of the special that never aired uh, initially. 
but just an all-star lineup when you got Jethro Tull, The Who, Taj Mahal, uh, Marion Faithful, The Dirty Mac, uh, featuring John Lennon, and you've also got uh, you know Rolling Stones performing, of course, as well. Great lineup, and uh, yeah, well worth it. So I'm looking forward to the uh, reissue of this on a uh, box set. Okay, that's a little bit of the Rolling Stones on disc. Thanks so much, and uh, yeah, have a good one, and uh, we'll talk again really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.